Hello friends, welcome. My name is Huggins and in this tutorial I am going to show you how to find the login page to the back end of a website. The reason I'm creating this video is because I had created this video and as you can see many people have watched it. This guy here, Georgi Georgetitze <laughs> that sounds like uh, Italian. He asked how to log in. I responded, I will create a video that show him how to log in. And he said, thank you. Well, as you can see, today is uh, the 1st of 2014. I'm recording this video at 6, 10 a.m. Let's get started. In the video here, I did not go into the part where I log in into the website. I just leave it alone. Let's say you check a website and you see that the website is vulnerable and you do your little test and you, you get the username and password. How do you find the login page? This is exactly the question Georgie uh, asked. Georgie, I'm sorry, I'm murdering your name right now. But anyway, to find the login page, I have copied down some of the parameters I think you can use. For example, this one here. In URL equals to admin. Site colon www dot the website name dot com. You will use this part here if you only want to search for the admin page for this website. If you want to do a general search for every websites on the internet that are using this parameter then you'll just remove this part but if you want to search a specific site this is how you will do it let me show you what happened once I hit enter as you can see the only result that show up is what I asked for this is the power of Google Okay, let's click on it and bam, there you go. This is where the administrator for this website will come to log in. Now, if you have found the username and the password for this website, this is what you will do to get here and enter that username and password. Click login and then you're in. As easy as that. Now, let's go back. Let's do a general search. Let's just remove this part. Hit enter. As you can see, we have a whole bunch of sites that are using admin. Let's try this one. Let's see what happened. All right. This is the login page to the back end of this website. Let's try this one. This is another login page to the back end of this website. That's all there is to it. You'll just use any of these parameters here because not all websites use the same parameters. Some use admin, some use login, login.asp, admin, admin.php, wp-admin, admin.asp, administrator. Every website will use a different string and some website will hide their... Um, login parameter to the back end some website will hide it some website will encrypt it you won't even be able to find it google will not be able to scan it now if you want more parameters like this instead of sitting down and think hmm what can i use what can you? these guys here from this website exploit-db.com are doing a fantastic job helping you and I out they go out they do all the research they gather all the information they put it on this website for you and I to use it makes our job way more easy so all you'll do you'll just come here and copy any of these parameters here it depends on what you're doing you see things that may give you a foothold into the server file containing usernames you'll find a lot of what they call Google Docs 
inside these uh, s different uh, directories let me just open it and so you see what we're talking about for example as you can see that's what we just did in url root etc password you see that so all these things you can try them and then they will lead you to something very resourceful all right a server vulnerable files vulnerable servers error messages you have a whole bunch of things here just copy as you can see this one they found it on december 3rd of 2013 that was last year so they found this last year all you you'll do is just copy this just the way it is you don't have to modify it do anything to it just copy it and paste it in the google search box and there you are there you are let's click on this one and see what happened bam we did not need to do anything to hack this website <laughs> as you can see i'm logged in there are three administrators on this website and i can log out if i want to and this is all the areas on the website that they're using to control the website the look and everything i can change whatever i want here you see that so this is how easy these folks at exploit database make it for us to hack to find sensitive information and hack websites easily <laughs> look at this one here let me try this one and see what happened okay let's try that what this one will do is looking for gmail uh, username and passwords you see that these are the kind of things that you will be able to do with a website like this let me try wp admin and let's click on this one and see what happened bam see we did not need to do anything to hack this website look at that we are in the directory of all the files contain this website let's go to the website and see what happened this is the website and this is file directory of the website crucial files those are very crucial files those are all the things that you will do to get whatever you're looking for from these websites remember you don't have to come up with the uh, uh, parameters yourself. All you need to do is come here to this website, go into the, the categories and find what you're looking for, copy and paste into Google, and then Google will tell you exactly what you want to know. All right. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment. Visit the website, cooldesign.com. I try to blog, but I haven't have much time. Make it what it needs to be. I don't have much time to do that, but I need to find some time to work on this website. Hopefully, put some good information on there for you guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Happy New Year. Enjoy. Bye-bye.